but that's basically the path I took and um, you know the the process of going from private pilot to commercial pilot oh yeah there's one other thing um, when you finally do get to the level where you're you're flying charters or airlines uh, after you have all of those ratings um, you eventually become an airline transport pilot which is pretty much the highest the highest you can get um, once you get to a certain level you start flying jets and stuff like that each airplane requires actual additional training in that specific airplane those are called type ratings so um, you do that basically in a, in a flight simulator full motion or, or in the airplane but you get a you get a type rating um, there's a lot of testing involved you're you're constantly taking um, uh, every six months to every year you're typically getting a new medical certificate um, which is basically going to the doctor and they give you a physical and, and make sure you're fit to fly uh, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell I mean that's that's the process of going from not flying an hour to becoming you know a pilot professionally um, if you have any other questions just uh, feel free to leave it down there um, I'll I'll answer them um, you know it's a good it's a it's a good job sometimes the uh, the places you work make it kind of a pain in the butt um, you know that's it's a very volatile industry to be in your you know there's a lot of companies will hire and hire and hire and hire and then the economy will take a little bit of a turn and then they'll they'll lay off and lay off and lay off and companies go out of business and then you you always have to start at basically the beginning so from this point if you have any questions like I said feel free to give me a uh, message down there I'll be happy to answer them um, sorry about the Minecraft in the background but I'm not in the mood to I'm not having a good hair day not in the mood to be on camera and um, also I had to do something here and thanks Mark the third for letting me execute you in my little torture chamber um, who's uh, hanging out right there and also thanks and a shout out to Mr. Aviator Aviator Gaming uh, Big Mac or the dollar short which are both my nephews um, helping me get into YouTube here um, the Burt dude Burt521 Burt's got game um, I'll have their channels down here but chances are if you're watching this video it's because you've watched theirs so but I'll do that anyways anyways um, I'm going to sign off, uh, I'll end this with a clip of, uh, I believe it was me taking off out of uh, Los Angeles, going to Kansas City. Um, so, anywho, I really hate it when people say this, but, um, you know, the whole sit back, relax, enjoy the flight, yeah, there's a lot of things that kind of annoy me, I guess I sit in the back of airplanes just as much as I sit in the front of them, and, uh, yeah, you know, the pilot always comes on. He tells you everything he's going to do. Like, oh, yeah, the flight's going to take us up to. Uh, we're going to go up to thirty thousand feet, and we're going to take a left in New York, and then we're going to go over the Grand Canyon. I think people are just kind of like, yeah, whatever, buddy. We're you know three and a half hours late, and I'm packed in a cattle car with two hundred stinking people. I could, anyways. Uh, don't mean to ramble, but uh, oh yeah. Also, shout out to Stormy Lilac, um, ninety three. She's cool too. And uh, so, yeah, here, check out this uh, video of uh, me taking off. Until next time, I'm Mr. Oceanic Pilot. And um, you all are watching this. So, thanks a lot. Thanks for just watching. And uh, we'll see you with my next video. Don't know what it's going to be, but it can't be any worse than this one. All right, bye.